Hello, today I'm going to be talking about the All Powers 60 Watt solar panel. I got two of these 60 Watt solar panels and I will be trying them with both the uh, All Powers S300 and uh, EB3A from uh, Blue Eddy. Uh, these can very easily be connected in parallel and I will show that, that as well and see if there's any difference in how much water we get into these two. The reason why I'm testing with two is because I want to see if there's any difference between the two power stations as well. Okay, let's get started. Hey baby. This is how the panel looks on the outside. It's uh, really light. It weighs just uh, under two kilos. And on the back it's got a little pouch. And inside the pouch it stores all the cables and connectors that come with it. And this is what comes with it. This is a DC cable. You got another DC cable that you can connect directly to your battery if you want to. And uh, four carbine hooks. So you can strap it down to the roof of your car or boat or something. And uh, some extra connectors uh, if you want to connect it to different power stations. This one connects to the Blue Eddy for example. But today we're going to be using this DC connector. So let's shut this and I'll show you how to open up and to set it up and we're gonna see how much wattage we can get out of it. Okay. So the legs. You can take this off totally if you want to, but what we don't need to do is we can leave this on. See it's a little and just disconnect this and then try to get this loose as well. Connect it and you have your leg. And turn it around. And we can do the same thing here. Really easy, although I guess if you're going to be doing this all day these might get loose but it, they seem pretty sturdy and then just open it up put the legs down and you're ready to go so that's really easy and it just takes uh, basically a couple of seconds inside the back pocket you got all the different connectors for the solar panel you got two regular USB ports you get one USB-C port you got one DC output and you also got one DC input and uh, the DC output is to connect your solar panel to your battery or power station or whatever you want to connect it to and the DC input is to be able to connect uh, two or more solar panels in parallel and that way you can uh, get more amperage out without uh, messing with the voltage and I'm going to be showing you that in a bit I now have two solar panels and I'm going to connect them in parallel, see if I can up the voltage. And uh, they might have already said I was going to connect them in series, but I'm, I'm not. I don't want higher voltage. So to do this, it's really simple. Just put this down so you can see. This one's already connected. I'm going to take my DC cable here and connect it to the solar DC output. Sorry, wrong side of the cable. There, to the DC output. And then I'm going to take this one, go to the other panel, and connect it here to the DC input. And that's it. Now it's just to put them back up again. I'm really glad that I have two arms because it's much easier when not holding a phone. Sorry if I offended anyone with just one arm or no arms. There. And. Uh, then it's just to take our power station I will be using the Blue Eddy because it has a more accurate reading connecting it and let's see what it produces. Okay, so everything is set up. I used the can trick to see if it's 
straight in the sun and it's good enough. This won't be a perfect test, but just to see if they come even close to producing 60 watts. So one panel connected and I'm looking at uh, all powers and all I'm getting is about 24 watts, which is even in this spring sun should be better for a 60 watts panel. But let's try to connect it to the Blue Eddy. And of course I need my adapter cable. So disconnecting, putting on an adapter cable and turn this around so you can see. Unfortunately I won't be able to see anything on the display. So I turn it around again and uh, give it a couple of seconds. And it's not producing anything, it's not producing anything, and it's up to 24 to 38 watts. That's strange. I have 42 watts in the Blue Eddy. 41. 42, 41. Uh, which is really strange because I only had 24 on the S300. And it's stable around 40. So, well. All right, that was a quick review of the old power 60 watt foldable solar panel. And uh, let's begin with talking about what I didn't like about it. The main thing I didn't like is that it doesn't come with any MC4 connectors. I love using MC4 connectors because they're weatherproof. You can use them outside, you can use them in the raining. And uh, yeah, I really miss those. For me myself, I got some extra at home and I can build my own cables, but it would be great if those were included. And that's basically the only thing I didn't like. What I, <laughs> what I do like is you have several adapters to use with the DC um, cables. You can connect it to probably most power stations out there. I also like the carbine hooks and you can actually strap this down. Many foldable solar panels, you're not able to do this. You can't put them on a boat because they risk falling off and into the water and then they're lost. Uh, I also like that it's a compact size and that it only weighs 1.95 kilos. And I'll try to translate that to no kilos, because some of you don't know what kilos is. Strange. But overall it's, it's a rather hazy day and it's producing 50 watts and more. And uh, that's amazing for a solar panel that should be producing 60 watts and only cost $99, including shipping. I bought these from Amazon, and right now I know there's uh, a sale on them, on all powers. And uh, if you follow the link below, I think you get an extra 10% off or something. Uh, right now at least. I don't know if it's going to be like that when you're watching, but right now it is. Uh, so I can really recommend this. I don't think you can get a cheaper or better 60 watt solar panel maybe a better but then you're gonna <laughs> pay twice as much so i'm really pleasantly surprised i can really recommend these and i'm looking forward to using them this summer and uh, at the end of the summer i'm going to do a new review and I tell you if there's anything that i didn't like about them after a whole summer anyway i hope you like this if you're interested in buying them go to the link below you get a discount it's great and uh, if you have any questions, just uh, write me in the comments and I'll try to answer as soon as possible. Okay, have a great day. Bye.